In the last video, I showed you how to blow all the three fuses. Now we got a card which is personalized with all the three fuses blown. In this video, we're going to see all the things you can do when the tag is personalized. So for that, you have to understand uh, the last column in this table. Anything you see free means you can read without any password verification. If you come across forbidden, you cannot do the corresponding operation. Say for example here, write, you cannot write. Likewise, the next thing is the, the CMC, the card manufacture code. You can read, but you cannot write. Likewise, even the access register, we have seen using these registers, you can configure all the password requirements and read and write enabling for the user zones. Even the these registers cannot be changed when the card is in, in this uh, configuration. You can, this is obvious memory test zone. You can always read and write. The identification you can read and you cannot change. The read is free because most often the identification, which is also called as the, the UID of the card, will be used in deriving the key used for authentication. So we need a direct or a free access to the identification number. You cannot see, you cannot read, and you cannot write as well. Whereas we are able to see, you know, in the previous uh, configuration with the secure code, the passwords, you cannot read the password, but you can read it only if you know the, the right password. So here, write PW means write password. So if you know the right password, you can change the password. I'm going to show you that now. The pack value this is a password access counter. You can always see what the counter values are. But in order to change, you need a right password. And the user zones, so this depends on uh, the configuration of the access register. This was the tag we have been using in the last videos. I have uh, noted down all the passwords on the tag itself. I'm going to select, it's selected. If you try to read. Now, reading is, the first thing, you know, to go and look at is, the access rights. Now all the three zones they have been set with the access rights where you know you need the password verification for reading and also the password verification for writing. And in this case we are using the password number zero. So you need uh, the read password zero and here to read uh, zone one read password zero zone two read password zero now just go through all the things you know you can you can see for without any verification none of these user zones is readable on the fabrication side you can see all these uh, the standard things and if you go identification you know as we saw you can see the the issuer code and and also you know the issuer code okay so it is uh, readable here yeah, even though it's not clearly mentioned on the table the identification you can see here the cryptogram so it's uh, readable the interesting bit is even the cryptogram is readable because in my last videos I showed that in order to authenticate we need to generate a random code that depends on the current uh, cryptogram and also the current uh, the identification number so cryptogram is readable here on the secret you cannot read this uh, this password this is like a like a master password or a card specific password most often the value that is stored here is derived using the identification number the password obviously you cannot read them at all if you look at the fuses here all the three fuses are blown so just quickly do just to have a testing just say nine zero write and read you know empties that is always read if you look at the way this uh, card is configured all the three zones zero one and two they are enabled for password verification for both write as well as read and for both read and write 
the password number is zero. So in order to read, you have to verify with read password zero. So in order to write, you have to verify with write password zero. I'm going to first verify with the read password zero. It's over here. So I know the read password is read password zero is written on the card. It is all twos. Verify. And if you look to read, we are able to. Now all the three zones are readable because all three zones are somehow when we configured or personalized this card, it's set to the password zero. Now because all the three zones are controlled by password zero, the documentation says we are now having a bigger zone with you know a, a basically you now all the it looks like all the three zones are merged together into bigger zone. Now is it possible to write? I can I can try here. I'm going to modify this as phi phi write. If you try to read, we are not able to write. So in order to write, we have to verify with the corresponding the password number. And we have got in order to write to zone all the three zones, we have to verify that with the right password zero. Now there is some interesting thing about the right password zero. I'm going to uh, close and try again. Now if you verify with the right password, the card will also let you read. So both read and write are possible with the right password verification. Now I'm going to verify with the right password zero which is uh, over here. The right password zero, it is all three ones. Verify. Now with this I can read as well as I can modify as well. Write. Try to read back. Look at that. So you are able to do both read as well as the write. Now if you go back to the documentation, it says assume that I want to change the password. Now the table says I can do the password change after you know, I verified with the right password. Now I'm going to try that. Now I'm still not very sure whether we are able to verify or uh, change the password of right zero right one. We just verified with the right zero. I'm going to change the password of right uh, zero to say say four one four one four one. right now i know the right password change worked probably because you know uh, we got this uh, nine zero but however to make sure you try to read now the read is also successful now we are able to change the password what if i want to change this password for uh, the password one so is it possible let me try what is it is four two four two four two Right. If you try to read it, now we are not able to read. So I think the password change. You can change the password only. The you can change only the corresponding password. If you had verified with right password zero, you can change the right password zero. If you verified with right password one, you can change the the password of this uh, right password one. Now I'm going to verify this time with the. Probably I better change this back to the one one I had, right? Okay. So I'm going to verify. Assume that I want to change the password of right one. To do that, you first have to verify, and now change it to five 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 five. Right. Try to read. It's so verified. So now you learned how to change the passwords uh, in in the in the last in a personalized uh, state of this card. I want to change it back to four five. Right. So that is all I've got in this video about 
the AT8080C153. So thanks for watching. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to use the AT8080C1608 card. Now we have got enough background and I'm sure you're going to understand uh, this card very easily and there's no difference between this and the one we just gone through 153 the only difference here is just the memory capacity probably you'll be seeing you know more number of user zones and more passwords otherwise everything whatever whatever you know you learned in this about 153 will also apply for 1608 you know thanks for watching i'll be looking forward for you you know in my next video thank you